In this video we're going to look at the heat of reaction experiment. In the heat of reaction experiment we're going to mix two substances, in this case an acid and a base. We're going to measure the heat of reaction that's given off on mixture. To do this we'll use a calorimeter and this is something that we'll place the beaker into so that it insulates the walls of the beaker. In other words, as the reaction is proceeding and giving off heat, the heat that's given off won't be able to leave the calorimeter. We'll measure the increase in temperature in the reaction using a thermometer placed in the calorimeter. The problem is, though, that even though the calorimeter is insulated, some heat will still escape through the walls of the calorimeter. It's not perfect. So we need to first of all calibrate the calorimeter to see how much heat will be lost through the calorimeter. So in the calibration step, we'll take 100 mL of hot water and 100 mL of cold water. We'll add the cold water into the calorimeter, put on the lid and measure its temperature. So we put in our thermometer and we measure the temperature. And this is the temperature of the cold water. So our temperature of our warm water here is just under 33 degrees and the temperature of the cold water is uh, just 18 degrees. So in this experiment the cold water is going to gain some heat, the warm water is going to lose some heat. So we'll pour in our warm water and after mixing we'll note the temperature of the solution. The heat lost by the warm water will equal to the heat gained by the cold water plus the heat lost to the walls of the calorimeter. So we see here the temperature of our mixture, Tm, is 25 degrees. So we can use this information to work out how much heat was lost to the walls of the calorimeter. This is done very easily using this calculation. We can say that the heat lost by the warm water is equal to the heat gained by the cold water plus the heat lost to the calorimeter. And knowing Tc, Tw and Tm, we can work out Ccal, the calor calorimeter constant. And this will allow us to work out how much heat is being lost to the calorimeter in a reaction. OK, so let's go on now to the experiment itself. So here I have my acid and base that I'm going to mix. They should both be at the same temperature. We need to check that. And that temperature will be the initial temperature, T initial. I'll pour one solution into the calorimeter, so here I'm going to pour the base into the calorimeter. And as before, I'll assemble the calorimeter and put in my thermometer before I start. Now I can pour in my acid, and as this reaction proceeds, it's going to form salt and water and it's going to give off heat. So that heat will obviously increase the temperature of the solution. So we'll pour in our acid, and after pouring in and mixing, we'll note the final temperature. So we watch the temperature increase and when it levels off that's the final temperature. So here I've mixed it for a while and now it's at 24 degrees. So I now know my initial temperature, I know my final temperature, so I know how much heat was given off in the reaction. That coupled with information about the calorimeter constant I can work out how much heat was lost to the calorimeter plus how much heat was gained by the reaction. And the heat given up by the reaction is the sum of these two. We can repeat this for different acids. So for example, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, ethanoic acid. And these will all give different results for different readings.